So, you know, you, you've come a long way in the last year. Or at least I think a lot of Americans didn't know who you were a year ago, and now you're sort of <laughs> one yes. of the guys people are you know, thinking can make the team. Yes. Do you worry about other people in the race much, or you just try to get as fit as you um, can be? I, I try not to worry about people, because if I worry, I would freak out and I won't be able to run. But I try to just think about the race and try to be mentally prepared and know that it's a championship and try to flow with the race and see how it will unfold. And so, you know, before you're in the military training, doing real military stuff, and now you can train more. Yes. Has that been good? I mean, are you yeah. fitter than Chicago? I, <laughs> I mean, what I can say is I've been able to train like full time and rest after the training. Last time I used to train and go to work after that, but now I am able to train and sleep, recover for the next runs. So we'll see. See on Saturday out. And you've been training with Sam Chalinga. Yeah. So do you compare yourself to him? I mean, are are you guys in the same fitness? Do you, how do you not compete with each other, or do you? Would you say you're in better shape than him, or he's in better shape, or how do you worry about that? I mean, what we do is we don't race each other when we are training, and we try to help each other. So, I mean, we've been training together. We've been, like, doing the workouts together, and doing the long runs together, and we push, we alternate, and we do that together. So, I mean, when it comes to race, it will be different. You never know, like, how the race will unfold. So, like, so you, you just hope like you can both of you help each other, like be there and you can see each other, you will motivate you, you know, oh, I have to keep somebody else going in front, you have to say, okay, I can keep going because, you know, right. training, that maybe that will help like... So it's been pretty you. equal though in training. Yeah. It's not like one of you is way ahead of the other one. Yeah. Yes. And when, Craig was saying, when you're in the military and you're in like Iraq, how much can you run? How much could you run? So we, where would you run? Like on a treadmill or around the base or what? Yeah, sometimes we have a lot of forest in the base. So Fort Bragg is big forest. No, but didn't you go to, like what about when you were deployed? Didn't you get deployed? Oh, yeah. We, like, when Did I you was, ever see an EID? No, no, no. Kuwait is... We, we didn't you were in Kuwait? Yeah, I was in Kuwait. We so, went to Iraq but a few times, but we, they made sure we were safe. Like oh. where we went and we had security and everything, so we, have, we didn't get to worry. So, <laughs> but how much could you run when you're in Kuwait? I was able to run like at least six miles. I started six miles and I went to ten miles a day. And then like... On a treadmill we were, or where? No, around the base. We had security, so I didn't have to worry. And there were lights right. at night, so... And they were like... We are very good security, so I didn't even have to worry about that. Did you ever think about quitting as a runner and just being full-time military? What I made you want, yes. What made you want to keep running? I, you know, I said, I used to run, and I said, okay, a lot of my friends, they would quit, but I said, I'm not going to stop. I, some say they said run for fitness, and, but I said, make Olympics fast. Like, that was my dream. Like, I always say, I, I wanted to go to Olympics 2012, but I didn't go, and I said, okay, try this one now. And I never even thought I would be. And then it just opportunity came that you will be competing. So, but I, I, at the time I quit, I thought about it like, Oh, you can make it like just run as normal because we were walking and it's so hard. I mean, you have to sacrifice a lot. Like you don't have free time. If you you have to do this because once you are off from work, then you just go run and then you sleep. You wake up early in the morning and then after that everything. And the weekends, if you are people go hang out and go have fun, you have to see if you can try to use that as an opportunity to train for yourself and sleep. So Saturday and Sunday you or long runs and then sleep so it can compensate like for the, the longer runs you miss too during the week so, right yeah well good luck on saturday thank you all right thank you